Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at the pretty interesting add-on known as 3 Point Align. Now, 3 Point Align is made available by Nick Barry and it is an add-on that can help you align several parts of your model to other parts. And this kind of gives you some creative control over how you align things faster directly in Blender. And for you to get this happening, you need to go over to the link in the description that can bring you right here where you can download this and start working with it. So with that said, if we dive directly into Blender, we can see how this actually works. So with Blender simply opened right here, how you work with this is extremely simple. First off, you need to go ahead and download it and then install it by going over to edit, go over to preference and install it. And once that is done, you can proceed to make copies of several stuff. So we're just going to go ahead and make a very quick demo of how this actually works so that you guys can see that. And in this case, I'm just going to pretend to rotate this object and maybe rotate this one and rotate this other one. So for you to have the three point align working, you need to activate it by holding down Alt and T on the keyboard. So first off, if you tap Alt and T on the keyboard, you would notice that it says the target mesh is set, but the source mesh isn't. So for you to select the source mesh, you can hold down Shift and then select the mesh which you would like to have as the source mesh. Now in this case, we're selecting this object as the source mesh and we can press enter to start aligning our object. So with this here, you now have access to aligning base of points. So for example, if we like this object to be right on top of this one, you can click here and then click, go ahead and click one more time, click on those corresponding vertices or edge, and then do that again. So if we make a three point selection, we can now tap the enter key and automatically you would notice that this object simply snaps to the source. Now, if you'd like to do this even way faster, instead of selecting the target and then selecting the source later on, you can simply select the target and then select the source and tap Alt and T on the keyboard to set this. So I can now go ahead and set this one here and then set this other one right about this point. So let's have this selected and I'm going to set that there. And finally, we're going to do this other one. And once I do that, press the Enter key and that simply snaps. And we can do this for these other piece. So with this done, you can see that it is extremely easy for you to snap several parts. But what if for some reason you have some objects that are pretty much not of the same scale, or maybe there's a different scaling problem and you're trying to match and work with this. Now for this example, we're going to go ahead and take a look at a simple Lego piece. So if I click on don't save and we have this Lego piece opened right here, you would notice that it's done all blue. And uh, to fix this, all we need to do is go right over here where we have our overlays and then I'm going to turn off the face orient. All right. So with this here, how do we fix it? Now you notice that right here and here we have two different scaling. And for you to fix the scaling, it is uh, extremely simple. We're also going to do the same thing which we did earlier. Select the target, select the source, Alt T on the keyboard. And then we will proceed to match this. And if I click, because this recognizes that we have several points if i go in and select on that point right there and then select on these other points you can also see that now if i also would like to make a selection and for some reason why trying to make this particular alignment or you know aligning one point to another and i simply recognize that the points which i'm trying to align isn't working i can go ahead and tap the escape key and that will take it out so if i click one more time and then click right here we can have that and once you have this going you can press the enter key and automatically that snaps now once this snaps you would notice that everything seems to be working and for sure if i tap r and y on the keyboard everything snaps and of course we can proceed to do this for the other side so for this other section what we can do is also exactly the same select the target select the source alt and t on the keyboard and we can proceed to make this selection so i can click and then just simply click around and we can do the same thing here click one click right over there and then we can do the third one. So I'm just going to go ahead and select one more point. So this point comes here and this other one goes right there. So once I have this, press enter key and this automatically fixes it. Now, in most cases, you would notice that these may not fix it. And the reason why this might not fix it is because of the transform. So if the transforms are not done properly, this might not work. So you have to make sure that you have the transform checked. And in other cases, if the match distance is not turned on, this is also going to be the results that you have. So these things actually work hand in hand to give you some very good control and you can turn this on. Now, if you also like to have the origin to distance work, you can go ahead and turn this on because if this is turned off and we tap R and Y on the keyboard, you can see how the rotation is. So let's just look at that from here, R and Y. This is what the rotation is. But if I turn this on and tap R and Y on the keyboard, you can see we have a much more useful Lego piece. And this is how you work with this add-on across different parts of this model 
and you can proceed to use this to align several parts of your model together. Now, for those who have been wondering about how they can align things faster, easy, and just simply using points to match to transforms or simply using points to match to the origin of a given object, then this add-on is one add-on that you should consider taking a look at. And that's about it. For those who like to take a look at this, link is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss next video or the next update. And I'll see you guys again with the tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.